Hey everyone, I finally got a new Apple Watch. It's an old Apple Watch. Okay, so this is the Series 5 ceramic 44mm Apple Watch. And you might be wondering, why did you buy a two generation old Apple Watch instead of the brand new Series 7? Well, it's a bit of a story. So I knew for sure this year I wanted to upgrade my Series 4 Nike Aluminum Apple Watch to something new, something different. So I ordered the new Series 7 Nike Edition Apple Watch in silver with a sport loop band. I got in the mail a few weeks later, I put it on, and I loved it. But then I noticed a dead pixel on the screen. So I talked to support, I sent it back, and they issued a replacement. Unfortunately though, that replacement was going to show up about a month later. And I didn't really feel like waiting. So I cancelled the order, got my refund, and that was it. But I still really wanted to get a new Apple Watch. So I hit up my friend Tasif who was selling his Ceramic Series 5 Apple Watch. And I've always wanted to try out a ceramic Apple Watch because it just looks so cool in all the photos and I could never really afford to buy it brand new. He gave me a pretty good deal, I drove out, bought this thing, and I've been using it for the last few weeks. And I love this Apple Watch. Now of course, being a two-year-old Apple Watch doesn't have all the features the Series 7 has, like that new keyboard, the bigger screen, better performance, new sensors, but I don't really care. For me, coming from the Series 4, it had some pretty good upgrades like better performance, the always-on display, and a few other small things here and there. But mainly, the design was a really big upgrade. Going from aluminum to ceramic? Now, that is a transition. One of the other really big benefits of this white ceramic Apple Watch is that it looks good with pretty much any band. Apple Watch bands, let's do this thing. Okay, sport bands. First, we have a black sport band. We have the white sport band that came with this ceramic Apple Watch. It has a ceramic pin. We have the Nike Hole sport band, which is interesting. And we also have this turquoise teal Dave 2D logo color band, which is beautiful. Next up, we have three bands from Nomad. First, we have two of these sport utility style bands. There's a pine green, which is simple, but beautiful, as well as this gray kind of off-white band. It's one of my favorite colors for an Apple Watch band. Looks amazing with the ceramic watch. And we also have the titanium Nomad chain link band as well. It is incredibly well made and also looks surprisingly good too. And the last two bands are actually my favorite two Apple Watch bands of all time. The first one is the black Nike Edition Sport Loop that has kind of these reflective threads throughout, so it kind of shines in different lighting. I use this band all the time for running, just casual usage, exercise, it's great. The other one is this yellow Sunflower Sport Loop, which was crazy hard to track down for some reason. My friend Noah Herman imported it over to me from the US, and this band is beautiful. It's the perfect shade of yellow, has white and gray accents, and this is my favorite band out of all of these bands by far. This watch is just so beautiful. It's one of those really strange Apple products that was launched for a short period of time, people loved it, and it just disappeared. Now, I'm not the only one who recently bought a ceramic Apple Watch. My friend Patrick Tommaso just bought a ceramic Series 2 watch, and we met up to discuss our watches, as gentlemen do, at Denny's. <laughs> end up buying a Series 2 ceramic watch? So for me, a watch is two things. First, it's fashion, and second, it's function. I do think the ceramic, especially the Series 2, is a beautiful watch. And when it comes to the function, it's for me, it's like a mini little smart computer in the sense that I'm only using it to track a walk, a workout. And so if it's just basic tasks, the Series 2 is doing way more already than I need to. And for 150 bucks, like, there's really few watches, even in the analog world, that comes close to how beautiful this watch is and how functional it is. Thanks. We also ate some pretty damn good breakfast. Patrick made some really good points. You don't have to always buy the latest piece of technology because sometimes it's not always the best option. Especially with something like a watch. You don't have to always buy the latest version because it's about design, it's about fashion, it's what looks good. And this is a beautiful watch. And this is also a point that's way beyond Apple watches. If you don't want to buy the latest piece of tech because you don't really care to upgrade or you have budget concerns or you just like an older design, go for it. Nobody's stopping you. 
latest doesn't always mean greatest. And honestly, in terms of function, this Apple Watch can do basically all the things a new Apple Watch can do, and it's incredibly useful. Also, it's ceramic. Okay, so it's pretty early morning. We're kind of out here in the middle of uh, nowhere. I'm shooting a photo for my Instagram and usually don't have people to help me shoot, especially at 8 a.m. So we're getting a little bit creative here. We got the newer tripod set up. It's super thin and light, easy to bring around. And we have the Moment MagSafe adapter as well. So I can just take my phone here and slap it on. We're good to go and start shooting. Then on the Apple Watch, we open up the camera application and you're seeing literally a mirrored view of what the iPhone can see. So this is what the iPhone sees. This is what the Apple Watch sees. If I walk in front of it now, I can frame myself up right in the center. There we go. And this works for both photos and videos. So if you're shooting by yourself with your iPhone, it's a super easy way to frame up your shot and get shooting. That's one of the best ways the iPhone and Apple Watch work together. This feature for me is priceless. And you know, buying an older kind of used Apple Watch, battery life is something I was definitely worried about for the first few days or so. But it's really not bad at all. I end most days with this Apple Watch at around 50 or 60% using it throughout the day. Now on those days where I don't bring my phone with me, I'm using just my watch on cellular, going for runs, using it nonstop. Yeah, the battery does drain pretty quickly. But on most days, I have enough to get through a full day and most of a second day. No problem at all here with battery life and I'm impressed. I think what's really cool about the Apple Watch, especially the cellular one, is that it's like being able to detach from your phone without completely detaching. You have all the good things your phone can do. It's just, you don't have to bring your phone with you. Sometimes being able to detach like that is the dream. Now, there are a few things the Apple Watch can't do in terms of replacing your phone. Like for example, it doesn't have a camera, so you can't do video calls, you can't take photos or videos, and also the app selection is pretty limited. But sometimes you just wanna leave all of that nonsense behind and just live. Like, I don't know, maybe you just wanna take a day off from your phone. I have those days all the time. Maybe going on vacation, maybe you just wanna to go to a coffee shop and enjoy your coffee versus scrolling on your phone all day. Maybe you're just going on a run, you wanna pack lights. You know, these are all things the cellular Apple Watch and even just the regular Apple Watch can do if you wanna really detach. Okay, something pretty interesting happened today on my way out for this run. I stretched, I got my shoes on, got ready to go, went downstairs, and I realized I didn't have my Apple Watch with me. And at that moment, I was considering canceling the whole run altogether. It sounds extreme, but like, you know, it's midday, it's pretty cold outside, I'm already fairly tired. But then I stopped for a second, I went back upstairs, grabbed the watch, and went for my run. And so far, it's been a very good run. One of the best I've had in this fall winter transition period so far all of this to say what i find really interesting is how a physical sport like running can be so correlated and tied to a piece of tech like this apple watch i don't know i just find it really interesting and uh i'm gonna get back to running Having the Apple Watch for monitoring my health and fitness statistics, controlling music, playing the Nike Run Club guided runs, it is indispensable. I mean, you know how it is in the tech space, it's absolutely brutal out here. As soon as a new iPhone or Android phone drops, all the old phones are just immediately forgotten and they're obsolete. I know, I know. This is my job, trying out new tech, letting you know how it is, but you don't have to always listen to me. I'm telling you right now, buy the stuff you love or don't buy anything. Enjoy the things you have. And I don't know, if you wanna buy this Apple Watch for yourself, check eBay or Craigslist or Kijiji. You might find a good deal here and there, but it's a pretty rare, hard to find watch. It's 
It's a weird one. But for now, I'm gonna hang on to this Apple Watch as long as I possibly can until the battery completely dies or I shatter this thing or something else terrible happens to this watch. I don't know. I don't want to think about it. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna enjoy this thing. I love this watch. And thank you for watching.